When you get home from the aquarium shop, your fish will typically be in bags like these. It's best to demand that only one fish goes per bag because it's quite common for the fish on the way home to be quite stressed and actually beat each other up. If you are going to go for any length of time over an hour or two hours before you get home, also insist that the aquarium shop put some oxygen in with the air which is in the bag. So what you're aiming for is about a third oxygen and the rest cupped air. You don't need anywhere near as much water as you do air in the bag because the fish don't run out of water, but they do run out of oxygen. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is acclimatise the fish from the water in the bag to the water in the tank. The way that you do that is by floating the fish in the unopened bag for about 15 minutes. The next thing we do is we open up the top of the bag and we roll open the plastic. It's really important that there's plenty of surface area exposed for oxygen. You really don't want to hang the bag over like this because that chokes off the oxygen supply to the fish and will often kill the fish, particularly if they're left there for any period of time. So it's handy to use a peg, roll open the top of the bag so there's plenty of exposure to oxygen and then peg it onto the side of the tank to make sure that the plenty of oxygen can get into the bag. Once you've had the fish floating for about 15 minutes, what you do is check the pH and salt level and temperature of the water in the bag and make sure that it's the same as the water in the tank. What we then do is we scoop a bit of water out of the tank into the bag and we allow the fish five minutes to get used to that. So repeat this approximately three times or until your salt level, temperature and pH are very similar in the aquarium to the bag. Particularly if you're worried about the aggression of your fish towards the new fish that you purchase, it is a good idea to rearrange your rocks and corals a little bit just to disorientate the fish that are currently in the aquarium. This often distracts the fish and make them more worried about where they're going to make their new home. When it's time to release your fish, it's best not to pour the water in the bag into your aquarium because on the way home the fish will stress and create a fair bit of waste in the water. So once you've discarded of the water, simply net the fish and then release the fish into the aquarium. It's really common when you first introduce a fish to the aquarium for it to hide amongst the rocks and not be particularly active. Particularly fish like wrasses also tend to hide under the sand 